Hi everyone, this is Kimberly Collins, the Educated Math Performance Teacher today from Virginia. My family and I just got back from um, a nice lunch at Olive Garden. But like always, it seems anytime we go out to eat, there's always some sort of issue. Okay, here's the thing. Those of you that work in customer service, whether you are a hostess at either Walmart or cashier, a server at a restaurant, what have you, your, your job is to uh, take care of customers. This is uh, for and about you. Now, once we arrived at Olive Garden, you know, it was uh, five of us in the group. And, you know, we sat down, we placed our order. And it took, first of all, it took forever for us to place our order because the waiter was like, you know, running back and forth. And we were like, you know, thinking it's lunchtime, so let's hurry up and get our orders in, you know, so we'll have to be, you know, backed up with everybody else that was in the restaurant. restaurant. Okay. So most of us did the, uh, the unlimited soup and salad. So I'm thinking, all right, you know, you bring a bowl of, you know, a salad out, you know, and you bring the breadsticks out. And first of all, even though the bowls are big, you don't get a full bowl of salad that's all right there. It's five of us now. Okay. She brings the salad. We finally get the breadsticks to go with the salad. All right. So it's five of us. So that small salad was gone within a few minutes, you know. How about within a five or five minute or less time frame, you come back and see if we want some more salad breadsticks? Or how about you just bring me my soup? Mm -hmm. Okay, we finished the salad. We all kind of looking around like, okay, where's my waiter? Where's our waiter, right? Finally, <laughs> the waiter shows up. He brings the soup. Okay, we get the soup. We're like, can we get some more salad and some more breadsticks? Fine. He brings in more salad. He brings in more breadsticks. All right, we finished that, right? We're waiting again. Next thing we know, another lady comes up, and she's obviously the manager. Okay, she politely asks us, hi, how is, how is everything going? So I'm looking at my husband's face, it's short on his face like he is not happy. So I told the lady, I said, look, can we, we're waiting on, waiting on our waiter to, you know, return. Can we please get another salad, another bowl of soup, you know, and, you know, something else to drink. So she's like, okay, no problem. As soon as she walks away, finally, the waiter comes back and he has all the stuff that we previously ordered. Right? Which is the same thing I just told her. So, I'm like, this is crazy. This guy really must not want a tip. So here is the gist of the story. If you work in any type of customer service, make sure you're taking care of your customers, especially if your tip depends on it. That's all we ask. That's, I'm not asking you to perform for me. I'm just asking you to bring me my food in a timely manner. Okay? Now, for those of you out there that's actually working in some type of customer service job, and you're like, okay, she's right. Maybe I'm just not fit for a customer service, you know, position. Maybe it's time that I look within myself and expand my horizon. If that's you, here's what I'm going to need you to do. I'm going to need you to click the link that's going to be in this video. Go to the website, look at the videos, and see if my plan could actually help you prepare yourself for a better future. That's what I'm here for. The link will be in the video, and I will see you on the other side. I'm telling you, customer services are made for everybody. You know, sometimes you have to branch out there on your own and become your own boss and make your own money and your own career move. If that's you, I'll see you on the other side. This is Vic Kimberly Collins, the educa Educated Natural. I'll see you guys on the inside.